Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, March is Women's History Month. We'll preview this year's observance. There's a tech job fair coming up. Plus, it's that time again, March Madness. We'll have details on this year's Mead TV NCAA Tournament Challenge in a moment. But first, headlining the news, March is Women's History Month. The Garrison Equal Opportunity Office and First Army Division East invites the entire community to this year's Women's History Month observance. It's coming up Thursday, March 20th at 1130 in the McGill Training Center. This year's guest speaker is Dr. Christine Altendorf, the director of the Army Sexual Assault and Prevention Office in Washington. Here she is in a recent interview discussing a culture change in the Army. I think most people know by now that the SHARP initiative is a top priority for the Chief of Staff of the Army and for the Secretary of the Army. Um, as we've been in the war now for 10 years, 12 years, between Iraq and Afghanistan, there has been so much focus on competency, you know, that, that you have to have a soldier that is as that it's very, very good at their mission. And, and we have needed that, that's what we've wanted. In some cases, maybe some characters have been overlooked because they've been a, a great shot, or hey, they're, they're great at, at finding IEDs. Well, right now, as everyone is coming back, we need to say, hey, you know what, it can't be competence over character. It has to be competence and character. Because if you don't have character in the soldier, then you're actually going to erode, really, the soldier themselves and then everybody that they're around. Once again, this year's Women's History Month observance is March 20th at 1130 in the McGill Training Center. In a related story, the Defense Suicide Prevention Office is hosting the Building Resilience in Women's Leaders Conference March 27th in Arlington, Virginia. All military women, active duty, National Guard or Reserve, officer or enlister are invited. The conference will tackle resiliency skill development, leadership skills, workplace advancement, mentoring, and much more. You can sign up online, go to http backslash backslash events.signup4.com slash resilience2014. Meanwhile, we continue with our focus on Women's History Month with an introduction to a woman making history right now in the Maryland Air National Guard. Born in Trinidad and Tobago, Brigadier General Allison Solomon is the first female and first African American Brigadier General in the Maryland National Guard. Here's a portion of a recent interview conducted by the 29th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment. Well, I was born in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, and I immigrated here when I was a youngster. I uh, grew up in Baltimore, and I now live in Prince George's County. This is a time in our lives in this country where the opportunity is limitless to me for black women. And I tell our young girls, I said, you can do whatever you want to do if you want to do it. So they will be able to write their own ticket. And it's interesting because I think back, you know, 30 years ago, I necessarily wasn't able to write my own ticket. But now I really believe that these young girls can write their own tickets if that's what they choose to do. There were some days I remember I would go and I'd cry to my mother and I'd say, why are these people treating me like this? You know, I'm just trying to do my job. And it was hard and I wanted to quit. I said, they don't deserve me. I need to go someplace. And my mother said, you need to be there. You need to stick it out. In other news, MWR, the Maryland Department of Labor, and the Anne Arundel County One Stop Career Center are hosting a technical job fair next Wednesday, March 19th from 9 to 2 at Club Mead. More than 60 companies and organizations are scheduled to participate. So get your resumes ready. You can get more information at www.ftmeadmwr.com. And finally this week, March Madness has arrived, and that means it's time for the 6th Annual Me TV NCAA Tournament Challenge. It's your chance to win a $100 gift card and some bragging rights. I know it's not Warren Buffett's $1 billion challenge, but with the odds of winning that one, 1 in 9.2 quintillion, meaning you could win the Powerball 100 times without sniffing that prize, we at Me TV offer a prize you can actually win. We actually had a two-time winner since 2009. Join us Tuesday for our selection show featuring Jibber columnist Chad Jones, who, by the way, hasn't come close since we started this thing, but maybe you can use his tips to pick another team. Once again, we'll publish details on how to enter by Tuesday on Facebook. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.